uh, Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shout out to the Akim out there, Shabbat Shalom. And this is a, a news update <clears throat> in regards to uh, uh, second world was passed, behold, third world coming quickly. And uh, what's that reference to Revelations 11 and 14? Second world was passed, third world coming quickly. And uh, wars and rumors of wars, which is, can be in the book of Matthew 24 through verse 7. In the, in the Holy Scriptures, reference to this news article that I'm about to bring out. Because these uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely increasing. And these nations rising up against nations and kingdom against kingdoms as well, too. I will prepare for a re uh, reference to those script uh, scriptures of this news article. And this is a... This is a news article from uh, NSNnews.com. And from Newsweek, uh, published by Zoe Strosky, yesterday at 9.33 a.m. And a highlight of this news article in the reads from Newsweek, and it says Russia sends jets with hypersonic missiles to NATO borders for a 24/7 news. And it says Russia has reportedly sent three planes with hypersonic missiles to encave to an exclave between the two NATO members for around the clock combat and amend the fears of war between the alliance and President Vladimir Putin's army. <clears throat> and you know and this and this is a like a day like a day or two after you know uh, Biden, I mean not Biden Salaki, after uh, Vladimir Putin made that statement he was at a, a some type of meeting or a speech or some type of event I believe or some type of ceremony. Uh, day before yesterday, he made that announcement that um, he he welcomes the continuing allegiance and allies of uh, uh, Latin America and uh, Africa, parts of Africa countries as well too. Of the nations, you know, he he allies with <clears throat> in regards to uh, you know he's. Uh, He's open arms and welcome his allies of uh, Latin America and parts of Africa as well too to send them uh, modern day uh, weaponry and stuff like that. So that goes to show you more increase of uh, signs of uh, these wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up on an everyday basis, you know. And uh, let's see right here. Continue on with the reading. It says, Russian Defense Ministry said Thursday that the MIG-31 aircraft is now based at the uh, Chakrasov, if I pronounced that right, airfield in the, in the Kalimbrad region as a part of the implementation of additional strategic deterrence measures Russian station-owned news agency Raya Novosti's reported. That means the planes equipped with uh, Kenza, Kenzahaya, if I pronounced that right, hypersonic missiles are now close to the NATO borders. The Kaliningrad, uh, which does not share any borders with Russia, but it is still part of its territory. It's sandwiched between NATO countries. <clears throat> of Poland and Lithuania and it says uh, Putin hasn't publicly voiced plans to attack NATO but he has warned that any country that creates a strategic threat to Russia during the ongoing Russian and Ukraine war can expect retaliation which is most likely the case because you still got the United States continuing funding 
uh, Ukraine. I believe they're probably gonna send an extra additional 800 million in military aid, and they get aid from the uh, back to allies of NATO as well too. So then you got potential uh, wars is getting close to being pushed into Moldova and Romania, you know. So these are. Uh, um, so that lets you know um, the, the tensions, you know, is building up. And then you're going to see more tensions build up between Russia and the United States and against Russia and NATO allies as well of back Ukraine, you know. So those tensions are going to spark, you know. And I'm going to read it again. It says, uh, It says Russian state television and the Russian. Uh, I'm gonna read it again from all the way from the top for edification sake of this video. Uh, video lesson. It says Putin has hasn't publicly voiced plans to attack NATO, but but he was but he has warned. Right, this is previously he made that statement. It says, but he has warned that any country that creates a strategic threat to Russia during the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war can expect a retaliation strikes. Russian state television and the Russian president allies have repeatedly pushed for a confrontation with NATO and even nuclear strikes against the alliance, increasing concerns of a nuclear war that scientists predict could kill billions. And it says, according to the Nuclear Threat Initiative, Washington, D.C. Uh, based nonprofit will Kenzia hypersonic missiles are armed with the MIG 31s and the Kyer brand and nuclear capabilities in air launch. In 2018, Russia reportedly sent the ICANA uh, missiles, which are capable of carrying nuclear warheads, to the Kalia Hengra. With Russia ramping up its presence, nuclear capability weapons in Nicaragua, uh, NATO has been working to bolster and protect its eastern flank. Last week, the U.S mission to NATO announced that soldiers from a U.S. air assault division that arrived in Europe in late July were being sent to NATO members of Romania, Bulgaria, <coughs> Hungary, and Slovakia to reassure our allies. And right, because you got the uh, the two brand new allies that's coming in a, a part of NATO as well too is Sweden and Finland. Well, uh, from reports that I'm hearing that I was watching uh, the news, it was saying that uh, in order to like Finland and Sweden to like fully get into the NATO membership, they have to be more allies of uh, NATO to approve and sign documentation and approve of uh, Sweden and Finland to be part of NATO, you know. So as the NATO uh, alliance increased now more than ever, it says this month NATO has announced that its several planes and fighter jets were patrolling around the clock to protect the airspace of member countries. The Alliance shares a video of Twitter that explained it was working to protect the skies of its allies in Eastern Europe. You know, that goes in like a couple of, and plus a couple of months ago with the deployment of uh, more troops. I believe it was like about a couple of months ago that Joe Biden sent an additional about 1,000 to 2,000 troops over there in Eastern Europe. So they'd be on standby. Just in case they, uh, just in case of uh, Ukraine need extra help with the ongoing war in Ukraine, the you know, Russian-Ukraine situation, though. 
and it says that uh, name that explained it was working to protect the skies of its allies in Eastern Europe with more jets flying from air base to aircraft carriers across the alliance and by bringing in additional materials and defense capabilities. The video said that it was, it, uh, it says, uh, and the video says that NATO was supplying consistent defense presents and monitoring the airspace over Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, and all of which are near near the NATO NATO's eastern flank near Russia. And Estonia and Latvia share borders with Russia. So yeah, after reading that whole article right there, uh, Russia is going to send more uh, jets with hypersonic missiles capability near to the NATO border for a 24-7 duty. As you see the increased tensions between Russia and Ukraine war. And there was another news article I was reading from RT.com and that's another possible of a war, rumor of war. They were saying that uh I don't know if he was a minister of a representation of Ukraine or whatever, or an ally, probably, potentially. He was saying that uh, the United States, they're going to, I mean, even though they've been saying this for a couple of months now, since the invasion of the Russia-Ukraine thing since February, as we're entering August now of the war, continuing, uh, he was mentioning something like that the United States is going to increasingly potentially uh, getting get into the war, get involved with the war in Ukraine. As I mentioned, uh, the countries of Moldova and Russia, you know, because the war is definitely getting closer to Moldova from what I'm hearing, you know. So, and they might get involved in it as well, too. You know, those other European countries, you know, especially uh, NATO, they might get involved with it as well, too. So that shows you more signs of um, this wars or rumors of wars are definitely heating up definitely being hitting up by it <clears throat> almost basically almost every day you know so it's gonna intensify and increase more and more and it might be times it might slow down a little bit but it's gonna rise right back up and intensify and increase and that's what we've been seeing it's been increasing for the last couple of uh, you know been, it's been increasing for the last couple of days you know and it's gonna increase more and more you know because these rumors of wars and these uh, nations rising up against nations and kingdom against kingdoms, they just definitely just been heating up, especially throughout the whole year 2022, you know, because uh, the beloved uh, Elder Apostle Tahar made that statement, you know, this is the year of 2022 of Yahweh Shem Al Shai is turning up the heat on things. And once the uh, beloved Elder Apostle Tahar made that statement, and that's what's been happening, and that's what's been going on. And we live in a prophecies are definitely showing itself. You know, we're seeing these things right before our eyes, you know, and many other different uh, things that's related to prophecies, you know, which I'm not going to get into. But my main focus on this uh, Russia Ukraine thing, as you know, Russia uh, sends jets. Uh, high send jets with hypersonic missiles capability to near the area of uh, you know near the uh, border of uh, what NATO allies is stationed at for 24-7 duty you know just in case you know potentially uh, if NATO allies come under threat you know Russia have their I mean uh, what is I'm talking about I mean, um, I, I believe allies, you know, allies of Russia or Vladimir Putin's army, if they be under threat by NATO, you know, that's why he sent those missiles, uh, more jets and uh, missiles capability over there, you know, just in case so it could be 24-7 uh, duty. 
because um, and coming to reports as I was reading through the news article, you know, they kind of fear of a potential of Russian's army and its allies might be uh, going against, you know, going against Russia of NATO. It's like uh, what I meant to say, kind of slip of the tongue, what I meant to say was the reason why Vladimir Putin issued uh, jets over there with war plane capability over there in, uh, near the NATO area. You know, just in case if Russian soldiers or allies with Russia and Vladimir Putin, if they come under attack, they have more military protection insurance for the Russian soldiers of Vladimir Putin and allies of Russia and Vladimir Putin as well, too, if they come under attack by the NATO you know, by the NATO group, which is allies with uh, Ukraine, you know. And then they said they was kind of fear of a potent potential of an attack on the Russian soldiers by the NATO allies of uh, Ukraine. So, you know, they, and as I was reading the news article, as I was scrolling down a little bit more, reading the whole news article, even though Vladimir Putin haven't made an official announcement yet, if he was gonna attack NATO allies, but he said if he if his uh, soldiers and his allies come under enemy threat by NATO, that's backed by Ukraine, because Ukraine is allies with NATO and the United States and Western countries as well too. And Vladimir Putin stated that if his uh, army and his allies was come under attack by the United States and the NATO back allies of uh, Ukraine, you know, he'd do necessary measures to make uh, nuclear strikes on them if they feel like they're coming under enemy uh, threat, you know, with military force from NATO and Ukraine and the United States back allies as well too, you know. So that goes to show you more signs of these uh, wars and rumors of wars are, you know, definitely heating up and it's going to continue to increase, you know. And I'm going to bring out a scripture. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring out two scriptures. I'm going to bring out first Mark 13 and 7. And then I'm going to bring out that Luke 21 and 9. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled, for these things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. Right, because these things are, these wars and rumors of wars are definitely coming to pass, because we're seeing it right before our eyes on an everyday basis, as it's starting to increase now more than ever, like I mentioned before, you know. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and the commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Right, because the reason why the end is not yet, because more prof more prophecies needed to be fulfilled, and we seeing these things are being fulfilled, come to pass right before our eyes. Even though it's not going to happen like real quickly, but it's, it's showing the process steps. It's getting the process steps even closer. You know, of these prophecies coming to pass, because we, you know, we still got the MOTB be right along with the 11 revelations 11 and 14 as well too because all them 
is going to be close to the same time of prophecies coming to pass, you know. But the MOTB is definitely grown. But yeah, uh, these uh, MOTB was just the uh, digital currency. Uh, that Karagma, that's going to be coming to pass very soon as well, too. Because that's a, a huge, major prophecy that's supposed to be coming to pass. And this definitely is as well, too. So we got two huge, important uh, prophecies that need to come to pass. Revelations 11 and 11 and 14, second world is past. The old third world coming quickly, you know, because we already know the second world has passed already. Now we're entering the stages of uh, the, the third world coming quickly. We're entering stages of that, which is that WW3, which is uh, very imminent, you know, because we're seeing signs of it is getting close to that, you know. And, um, uh, yeah, so with that, I uh, hope this uh, lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, verse, and mercy of the Hawaii Yahweh And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas Word, Truth and Institute, and Shalom to the Akia, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian Word, Truth and Institute. And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird. Uh, push the word truthfully and sincere. And until next time, I'm going to say Shalom, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shalom on this uh, Shabbat. And I will say, uh, Abba, 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 Shalom.